Right now, Massachusetts State Police are investigating what led to a deadly shooting in Brockton. They got the call just after 2 in the morning. A man had been shot inside a home on Hoover Ave. The victim was rushed to the hospital where he died. WBZ's Paul Burton spoke with neighbors who say they did hear yelling coming from that home overnight. It said well, somebody's gone. Deadly Easter morning in Brockton after shots ring out inside this home on Hoover Street around 2.15. Investigators say Brockton police responded to a 911 call of a report of a man shot inside. When they arrived, they found 27-year-old Cedric Abreu with a gunshot wound to the chest. He was transported to Good Samaritan Hospital but did not survive. Woke up at 3 and saw a couple of ca cars there and it was so shocking. That's very surprising. I didn't expect someone to die. Medina Dansoko lives a few houses away. She said last night she heard people fighting and yelling from the home. It was like really loud. People were yelling and cursing. Um, I guess it was that house because they usually yell a lot. All throughout the day, investigators have been on scene placing crime scene markers in front of the house. A single bullet was found on the street. At one point, an elderly man was carried out of the house in his wheelchair and placed in a car. You can see this woman in tears trying to run inside, but is stopped by detectives. Other family members are also told they could not enter the home. Well, it's very sad. It's very sad. I think it's sad on any morning. There are surveillance cameras on the house. Residents say this is a quiet neighborhood, and we're shocked to see the strong police presence on Easter. Very, very wonderful neighborhood. We're all very close. My neighbors across the street just gave me some food yesterday because they made extra and <laughs> they babysit each other's kids. It's very quiet around here. Very quiet. You know, we all know each other. Hi and goodbyes. Police say this does not appear to be a random act of violence. The community is not in danger. So far, no arrests have been made. The incident remains under investigation. In Brockton, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.